so hi guys uh, now we will discuss the single line diagram of this particular substation which we are going to visit 33 by 11 kv balajinagar substation as i told you okay it's an outdoor substation very important point to know it is an outdoor substation you know what is an outdoor substation outdoor substation is such a substation where all the elements of the substation see what are the majorly what are the components in the substation as you can see see substation basically when you call something called a substation it is nothing but a transformer okay substation is nothing but a transformer see whenever you find a single transformer you can call a single transformer also as ss that is nothing but a substation but this particular place which is separately called as substation is a place where a transformer is uh, located along with some other extra equipment before and after the transformer there will be other equipments also so if you look at this particular uh, line diagram of this particular substation here is the transformer main transformer okay see before you call it a substation what do you call it you call it a 33 by 11 kv substation that means substation is an area this particular substation is an area where incoming 33 kv voltage is transformed into outgoing as 11 kv voltage that means this is a voltage transformation substation okay so change to change the voltage you require primary element is the transformer so in order this in order for this transformer to work properly satisfactorily in the power system you will include some other components before and after the transformer so that entire combination is a substation and if such substation is built outdoors okay in some uh, particular area in some particular yard without any building uh, without inside any building then that is called as a outdoor substation so if you look at this particular substation the core component is this transformer only so before and after the transformers you are having uh, different elements uh, the combination of which is called as a trans sub uh, substation now you can see here this area this end is the 33 kv end hd side or we can say H hv side we can call it as hv side that means high voltage of the substation which is 33 kv and this end is the lv side of the substation that is nothing but 11 kv side is the lv of the substation okay because 11 kv is the lowest voltage present in this particular substation okay so if you look at this particular uh, single line diagram there are different elements you can see different symbols are there so with that symbols we will try to write down what are the different components present in the substation okay so here there is something like this arrow coming inside right so that is nothing but some 33 kv feeder which is coming inside and here is there is some element like this okay so this element what is this something looking like this isn't it so this is in our textbook language is called as isolator okay it is called as an isolator but practically in this field we call it something called as ab switch ab switch means nothing but ab what is ab a means air b means break so air brake switch so anyhow i will show you how this air brake switch everything looks like after we complete this single line diagram explanation okay so you have got one component that is you will be having a b switch at the point of incoming okay at the point of incoming you are having a a b switch and again you see there is something called as 33 kv bus coupler so what is this bus coupler basically bus coupler is also a b switch okay this bus coupler is also an a b switch see what do you mean by bus coupler see there is incoming 33 kv bus so this is bus okay this is the 33 kv bus this bus has been divided into two parts by placing a switch in between that became a bus coupler so it means by if you are closing that switch the both components of the bus are being coupled that is therefore it is called as a bus coupler generally bus coupler can be made up of ab switch so up to 11 up to 33 kv level up to 33 kv level AB switch can be invariably used as a bus coupler but beyond 33 kV beyond 33 kV if you want to couple two parts of a same bus generally we go with circuit breakers okay gas circuit breakers or vacuum circuit breakers something like that okay beyond 33 kV but up to 33 kV using of AB switch is okay no problem okay right now we will uh, come here and we will look at another component over here you see what is there here 33 kV PT PT means what potential transformer so this particular PT is nothing but a transformer it is a potential transformer which is used to measure voltage of this particular 33 kV bus okay this is also connected to this uh, particular line using a AB switch okay so the second component what you are having is some PT potential transformer And some important points regarding potential transformer is potential transformer is basically step down type of transformer so whatever may be the input side voltage if you take this particular pt what is the input voltage 
33 kV is the input voltage it is sensing but anyhow it's a step down or the secondary side output voltage will be always 110 volts that is a standard and also for MCQs it is important okay uh, what is the standard output of a PT standard output voltage of a PT is 110 volts okay please keep that point in mind next we will start looking at other components also over here so here you are having some element something like this okay so what is this element this is a something is it is written as GCB GCB means gas circuit breaker so basically it is a circuit breaker so circuit breakers he is telling that GCB GCB means inside the circuit breaker the filled uh, uh, element or the medium is a gas what is that gas basically SF6 gas will be there okay SF6 gas will be there apart from that when you come to 11 kV side it will be basically a VCB okay this will be a VCB vacuum circuit breakers VCB vacuum circuit breaker so VCB means vacuum circuit breakers so one important point that you will get into uh, consideration over here is up to 11 kV up to 11 kV if some circuit breaker is used so that is definitely that will be vacuum circuit breaker because up to 11 kV vacuum circuit breaker manufacturing will be economical so beyond 11 kV vacuum circuit breaker will not be economical so above 11 kV above 11 kV that means from 33 kV onwards after 11 kV the next level immediate step is 33 kV only so then there we will use GCBs that means gas based circuit breakers but still in some 220 kV or 400 kV substations also vacuum circuit breakers are preferred because when you compare the operation of vacuum and uh, gas circuit breakers vacuum circuit breakers are more superior but what uh, uh, is the main uh, limiting factor is the cost of the okay economical factors of the vacuum circuit breaker okay so above 33 kV you will be having gas circuit breakers and you know what gas circuit breaker means how do they work and all see this element over here what is this that is nothing but a symbol single line diagram of a current transformer okay now current transformer means what current transformer is basically a step up transformer as you know it is already already a step up transformer see what does a step up transformer do suppose in the input side you are having some voltage corresponding to these turns on the secondary side you will be having more number of turns so that you will get more voltage and as you know transformers are basically constant power devices power will be constant that means if uh, what do you mean by power power is equal to voltage into current ratio suppose on the secondary side if you are increasing the current then uh, voltage then the current will be decreased for example if you are decreasing the voltage then current will increase so if you are calling it as a step up transformer you are increasing the voltage that means you are decreasing the current so whatever will be the primary line current the secondary current will be a replica of that one a shorter one so that is the reason why we use a current transformer so the purpose of current transformer is measurement of current as well as using that reduced current for protection purpose so basically current transformers are used in two purposes one is for measurement of current purpose and other one is protection current protection means what relays will be there so to give uh, current supply the reference supply to the relays we use reduced amount of current using current transformer so it is a very very important component and it is placed in series why because the primary winding of the transformer which is there is nothing but the okay line itself is the primary winding of the current transformer right after the current transformer you are having another isolator is there and after the isolator you are having a 33 kV bus something like this and from there you are having a PTR1 PTR means power transformer okay so another component of a substation is what fifth one power transformers PTR so generally PTR represented by this element okay big circle and a small circle big circle represents the HV side small circle represents the LV side of the transformer okay and uh, after the substation uh, after the transformer you are having immediately what one LV1 LV circuit breaker is there okay LV circuit breaker is there and after LV circuit breaker what there is there there is a CT okay and uh, if you look at this CT under every CT there is something called as AV and there is AD I will discuss about that later but uh, what is this AV means AV means available available and AD means adopted adopted so available means see on the primary side CT can measure 400 amperes 200 amperes 100 amperes so while measuring 400 amperes or 200 amperes or 100 amperes 
it can give output side how much current 1 ampere 1 ampere so what does this mean as i told you current transformer is used for both measurement as well as protection purpose the current transformer will be having many number of cores let us say one tra current transformer is having one core so in this core see basically core of a current transformer will be in the form of a ring let us say there are two rings placed on each other okay now i am separating this uh, both rings separately okay but generally they will be on a head on each other okay so primary winding let us say this is the main transmission line so this transmission line you know it will be passing uh, as you pass inside the ring okay it will be passing okay it will be passing through this uh, okay this core okay in the form of something like something if you are passing some thread uh, through your rings it looks something like that so this uh, line which is the transmission line itself becomes the uh, you know primary winding of the transformer and on the secondary for secondary on this core there will be a separate winding that's it understood so when this primary uh, transmission line is going through this you know it is carrying current through this uh, area like this it will be creating some core inside the flux and that core that flux itself links with the secondary winding of the transformer and you'll get the output current so generally in ct construction as you know it will you be used for measurement as well as protection purpose one one core and the secondary winding arising out of one core will be primarily dedicated only for the measurement purpose let us say ammeter and there is let us say another core which is called as a protection core now this protection core uh, output current whatever will be there that will be used primary for the relay or protection purposes only understood so that is the reason why he is telling 1 dash 1 1 dash 1 means there are two cores and each core ka output is 1 ampere only and uh, 400 200 uh, 100 amperes means you can adjust the uh the current sensing capability of that particular ct also so that is the what available and they have adapted this much ratio 200 by 1 1 dash 1 like this so that is what available in adapter ratio means but anyhow in a separate video i will discuss in detail about cts nothing to worry same like we have in 33 kv side there is 11 kv bus also and this 11 kv bus also divided into some two halves as given here but practically if you see in the field now it will be some divided into some three halves three parts uh, that thing we will look out later okay now 11 kv side also having some 11 kv pt and uh, from the 11 kv side different areas for different areas 11 kv feeders are going out okay 11 kv feeders are going out and these 11 kv feeders will in turn feed the distribution transformers and from distribution transformers you will get uh, you know your uh, power supply to your home so each 11 kv transformer uh, each 11 kv feeder i say each 11 kv feeder will be moving or it will be running throughout the area and it will be feeding around somewhere around 10 to 30 distribution transformers depending upon its capacity understood and there is a circuit breaker on uh, every 11 kv side on or 11 kv feeder there is a ct to measure the current and what this ct will do ct will be basically it is like a sensor it will sense if there is high current it will give signal to the circuit breaker to trip off that's it and there are isolators or i can say ab switches are there and to this 11 kv bus only there is a connected station transformer also so this is about the line diagram now we will uh, start looking at the field aspect of this particular substation let's get into the part this uh, substation uh, this is relatively a new substation so control room kuda konjam chinna ga untadi mari meer expect chesina high five undaga pochu so idantha kuda enti di ivanni kuda control panels ikkada so that you can observe the some parameters about the substation inside along the breaker status of undergo to choose for an key and it is on the end of the ACDC battery charger unit is on the water you can ACDC conversion I put on the other than someone in China shouldn't even on a micro alarm see one neighbor regarding it on the battery charger units and you want a battery stock and what is on the water battery shock importance in Japan is what is the importance of battery? We call a battery and then the power from what is so this is the single line diagram of this substation. Breaker low, but the other key battery collection current from other way of the current to pay now. Una than a relay tripping over down a key at Chitanga two party amps who battery voltage on the relation and the car to punches on the lake on the mother battery voltage the co it a mother relation and the tripping car on the other than a key man of bite on the problem on the man of the rectify. तेलिया दो दी, ये तो ना ब्रेकर प्रॉब्लम है ना जी ये तो ना गाने मरा तेलिया कुंटा बोल रहा थे, बैटरी के लिए करकट कुंटा ने मरा दिले तो मरा ब्रेकर लोने दे करकट का टर्निंग लोन नर्स है। यस, सो मेन पर्पस ऑफ मेंटेनिंग बैटरी ना सब्सिशन इंटरनेट है, फर द ऑपरेशन ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम है 
Yeah guys, now we will start the substation tour. So Ramesh operator will guide us into the substation. We will go into the substation. Please come. So students, already we have seen the single line diagram. We have seen the single line diagram. We have seen the 33kv bus on the incoming side. आ बस की रणडू लेवल के भी फीडर सोची आटा चेंज नहीं, सो रमेश विल शो अस हाउ इस द 33 के भी बस आ फीडर सेटल हो चुकी है इंजेक्टर से, रमेश चुपी है। 33 का इनकमिंग, या? 33 का एबी सिच्चू, इनकमिंग सिच्चू। हाँ ये द इनकमिंग एबी सिच्चू दे। इनकमिंग एबी सिच्चू। हम्म। एबी सिच्चू नीचे डायरेक्ट so, this is the three-phase bus, and the other side is the PTs, right, Ramesh? Yes. PTs, Potential Transformers. And this is the other side of the MMM. This is the other side of the MMM. This is the second side of the MMM. This is the second side of the MMM. Second side of the MMM. So, these two are the 33 kv incoming feeders. Three. Three incoming feeders, right? Yes. Emergency. Emergency. So, these are the 33 kv breakers. And here is the cap lock, this is the CT, right? Yes, the current transformer. Next. Can you see this? Breaker. Breaker. Okay, the breaker is open. This is the release. Okay, students. This is the release. This is the manual tripping. Zoom tripping. Meter reading. Amps. बस वोल्टेज है, चाहिए तो सिर्फ सांड, एम्स, एम्स मीटर हो, बस मीटर, वोल्टेज मीटर, बस वोल्टेज मीटर, राइट, इनका दिन तरह तो नेक्स्ट ये थर्टी थ्री के भी बस नीचे सप्लाई डिग बोता थे, पावर ट्रांसफार्मर, रण्ड पावर ट्रांसफार्मर्स बोते थे, चुरे नहीं करो का पावर ट्रांसफार्मर ना थे, एंड दिन ये so, the 33KV bus is going towards PTR wipe and power supply. We observe the power transformer in one side. So, the power transformer is going to study the first to first. First to first, we will study the name plate details as electrical engineering students. So, students, this is the name plate. Photo, photo, you can see the details in the video. I will explain the meaning of a specific video in the name plate details. And the transformer is also there. The on-load tap changer is also there. So, the details are the same as the name plate details are the on-load tap changer. I will give you an explanation what does it mean. Okay? So, this is the radiator, the fins, the on-load tap changer, the on-load tap changer. And this is the breather. The breather is the same as the silica gel. So, this is a different model of breather. In general, the breather is the same as the transparent cover. And the final thing is the conservator tank. The conservator tank is the pipe towards the main tank. So, the model is the same as the book holes. Right. Can you see book holes relay written? Yes. So that is the book holes relay. Already when you have the conservator tank, main tank is in the book holes relay. So, you can see the 8MVA PTR. So, 5MVA. Okay, right, right. 5MVA. So, here in the side of the panel, you can see the AMM. What is there? Winding temperature indicator. Left side of the oil temperature indicator. Now, what is the oil temperature? It is around... How much? 54. 54. 54 is around. Winding temperature is the same, Ramesh? Same, sir. Same. So, this 5MVA is almost 8MVA. This is the same item. So, here we go. This 5MVA is the same. Here, the incoming 33KV is the same. Here, the 11KV is the same. This 11KV is the same. Here, the pine is the same. This is the same. So, this 11KV is the same. It is the same. It is the same. Now, you can see the insulators here. What is the name? You can see the post type insulators. Post type insulators are the post type insulators. You can use the live parts of the substation. The supporting structures are isolated. You can use the post type insulators. And the post type insulators are the CTs. Current transformers. The current transformers are the same as the circuit breaker. This is the circuit breaker. 
ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ రమేష్ ఇది గ్యాస్ సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకరా లేకపోతే వ్యాక్యూమ్ అది ఒకసారి వీ విల్ సీ ది నేమ్ ప్లేట్ దెన్ యూ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో వీసీబీ వ్యాక్యూమ్ సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ ఉంది కదా ప్లీజ్ నోట్ డౌన్ దిస్ ఈ నేమ్ ప్లేట్ డీటెయిల్స్ కూడా నోట్ చేసుకోండి సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ యొక్క రైట్ నా వీ విల్ మూవ్ ఫార్వర్డ్ ఓకే ఒక సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ అయిపోయింది అయిపోయిన తర్వాత ఈ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మర్ అవుట్పుట్ ఏదైతే ఉందో త్రూ ది సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ ఎల్వీ సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ ఇక్కడ ఒక లెవెన్ కేవీ బస్ ఒకటి ఉంది చూసారా ఈ లెవెన్ కేవీ బస్కి లింక్ అయిపోయింది మొత్తం కూడా అండ్ ఈ లెవెన్ కేవీ బస్సుని కూడా మధ్యలో ఒక రెండు ముక్కలు చేశారనమాట అంటే చూడండి ఇక్కడ ఒక ఐసోలేటర్స్ ఉన్నాయి లేదా ఏబీ స్విచ్ అని అంటారు అండ్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఇక్కడ ఇంకొక ఏబీ స్విచ్ ఉన్నది అంటే ఏంది టోటల్ బస్సుని త్రీ పార్ట్స్లోకి డివైడ్ చేసిర్రు అంటే ఎమర్జెన్సీ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఐసోలేట్ చేసుకొని వర్క్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఇప్పుడైతే మొత్తాన్ని కలిపేసిర్రు ఒకటే దగ్గర ఓకే మొత్తం ప్యారలల్ ఆపరేట్ అవుతున్నాయి అండ్ ఈ లెవెన్ కేవీ బస్కే ఒక స్టేషన్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మర్ కూడా ఉన్నది చూడండి ఇది ఎందుకనంటే సబ్ స్టేషన్కి ఇంటర్నల్ సప్లై కోసము ఫర్ లైటింగ్ పర్పస్ కానీ బ్యాటరీ ఛార్జర్స్ కోసం కానీ అదర్ పర్పస్కి లైటింగ్ యార్డ్ యార్డ్ లైటింగ్ కోసము మనకి స్టేషన్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మర్ అవసరం ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ చూడండి అట్లే ఇక్కడ ఏ టైం వీ నుంచి కూడా అవుట్పుట్ వచ్చి అవుట్పుట్ త్రూ దిస్ సిటీస్ ఇట్ వెన్ టు దిస్ లెవెన్ కేవీ బస్ ఈ లెవెన్ కేవీ బస్ నుంచి వేరియస్ లెవెన్ కేవీ ఫీడర్స్ అవుట్ గోయింగ్ అనేది వెళ్ళిపోయింది ఇవన్నీ కూడా డిఫరెంట్ లెవెన్ కేవీ ఫీడర్స్ అండ్ ఈచ్ ఫీడర్ అవుట్ గోయింగ్కి బ్రేకర్ కూడా ఏమన్నది చూడండి ఇక్కడ కూడా బ్రేకర్ ఉన్నది అండ్ ఈ బ్రేకర్కి అగైన్ త్రూ ద సిటీస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ అవుట్ ద లైన్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ఒకసారి వన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ లెవెన్ కేవీ బ్రేకర్కు ఉన్నటువంటి సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేకర్ యొక్క నేమ్ ప్లేట్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఒకసారి నోట్ చేసుకోండి వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ యూ సో ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు థ్యాంక్ రమేష్ ఆపరేటర్ సబ్స్టేషన్ ఆపరేటర్ ఫర్ స్పేరింగ్ టైమ్ విత్ అస్ అండ్ ఆల్సో గివింగ్ గుడ్ వాల్యుబుల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఫర్ మై స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ రమేష్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ కెమెరామ్యాన్ పార్షియల్ యూ కెమెరామ్యాన్ కిషన్ ఆల్సో ఈ హెస్ గివెన్ అ సపోర్ట్ టు అస్ అండ్ ఆల్సో సంజీవ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఎవ్రీబడి థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్